Hey guys, well I put together another solar charging station. So it's built with the homemade solar panels. I just recently put together two homemade panels. And both of those panels together give me an output of about 15 volts and it's about 100 watts in total, roughly. They're about four watts per cell. The solar trailer is built up of, you can see, two by fours that are the frame for the solar panels. And also the bottom or the frame of the trailer is just an old skid. It's just a hardwood pallet. And I had tons of them uh, stacked up around here and they were just starting to rot away. So I figured, oh, I'll use that for the trailer. And also the wheels are off of a Toyota Corolla. And what I've done is I've just bolted them into a bumper. So you can see the, the Toyota wheels here. And I've just used the rear wheels off the Toyota and the, the hubs. So we have the where the strut actually mounted onto is just bolted into this bumper reinforcement off of a Sprint. So this one's off a 1990 Sprint, and then we have an 86 Toyota Corolla rear hub and control arms. So, and it basically worked out pretty well. It was, it was easy because it just drilled four holes in this bumper and then bolted the, the hubs right to the bumper. So it's really basic. And you can see a little bit of Mickey Mouse wire on here and stuff like that. Who really cares? It's only going through the field. It's never going on the road or anything like that. Everything on here is scrap. Everything is just uh, recycled stuff, free stuff. The glass was free, so I build my panels. The only thing I have to purchase is the solar cells and the silicone and solder and whatever, uh, those materials to actually put the panels together. But other than that, the glass and everything else was free. So now I can just tilt this if I like, so you can tilt it. Basically, for the morning sun, you'd be back here, and then throughout the day, you could tilt this manually if you want to, uh, and then in the late afternoon, you're going to be all the way down this way. So the best thing for this would be a sun chaser or an automatic uh, clock drive system that would move this with the sun, and that's something I haven't built yet, but I, I guess I could try to throw something together from an old, uh, let's say, uh, maybe a window motor or something like that from a car. So I'll have to put a coupler on the end of it so I can then hook it to the ATV or whatever to be able to move it around. And so I'm going to try moving it around now just with one arm and see if I can move it. It's not really that heavy. So you can see that you can push it with one arm, hold a camera in the other arm. Okay, so I've just moved it. I'll drop this leg down. Still have to do something with that. So I built this one here for just around the property. It doesn't, it's not being towed on the road or anything like that, obviously not. But um, I'm gonna actually put this in a remote location where there's no electricity and it's too far for extension cords or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is have a couple batteries on here. I may put an inverter or whatever, and then I'll have some electricity over at the campsites. So I just have some old batteries on here right now. These are all just scrap batteries. And this one was a recovered battery. Uh, the cells were low, so I popped off the caps. It's a maintenance free. Um, I might make a video on how to do that, uh, but there's tons of videos on the internet on that, but you can just pop it off, fill up the uh, the cells, and away you go. You can recover some of the batteries. And I also have some sealed lead acid batteries that I'm recovering over here. You can see that the caps are off and I've put water in them. That's another little trick I may put in a video and also have some really old uh, spiral cell batteries in there. They're taking a charge. They're all starting to recover. These are six volts. There's a 12 volt one there. These are two volts each. They're in series with this six volt. So everything's charging up and they were all dead. So I'm over at the other charging station and this one made it through the winter. Uh, the panels are really dirty, but there's no moisture inside the panels. See that they don't look, they don't look too bad. 
So I have a bunch of new marine batteries on here. They're all deep cycle. And so this trailer hasn't been finished yet. There's still quite a bit of work. I need to enclose the batteries in so that they're out of the rain and also need to put an inverter in here, uh, maybe a 12 volt cigarette lighter, uh, some receptacles on the side. So there's still quite a bit of work to do. Also, it needs to be painted. So the workmanship on this isn't so great. <laughs> you can see that, uh, but I don't care because it's built for functionality, not for uh, aesthetics. So who really cares? And who's going to be looking at it anyway? So it's going to be sitting out in a field. And if someone comes over and says, what the hell is this thing? Oh, well, you know, I built it when I was a kid. So, or something like that. Well, that's another homemade solar trailer, and thank you for watching.